The Bible records various proscriptions and instances of the death penalty. Topic: <inaudible> Old Testament. Topic: Topic: <inaudible> Genesis chapter 2 and 9. Topic: In the Genesis creation narrative, book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 17, God tells Adam but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it, for on the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die." According to the Talmud, this verse is a death penalty. In Genesis 9 verse 6, as part of the Noahide covenant, God tells Noah, "...whoever sheds the blood of man through man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God he made man." Rashi says that there must be two witnesses of a murder for a murderer to receive the death penalty, because murder destroys the image of God. Topic: Capital sins. Topic: Certain sins are punishable by death in the Torah, including idolatry, taking God's name in vain, violation of the Sabbath, rebellion against parents, murder, and adultery. Topic: Elijah and the prophets of Baal. Topic. In 1 Kings 18 verse 40, Elijah kills the prophets of Baal. The Talmud explains that, while Elijah himself deserved death for offering sacrifice on a mountain, the mitzvah Elijah had contravened was abrogated. <laughs> New Testament <laughs> Woman caught in adultery Topic John chapter 8 verses 3 to 11 records a woman caught in adultery being brought to Jesus for judgment. Jesus does not condemn her, but says, "Go and from now on do not sin any more." Michael Barber says that the Jewish leaders had set a trap for Jesus. Yes to stoning means he. LL break Roman law and no to stoning means he. LL break Jewish law. He also says Jesus turns the trap on the leaders by saying, Whoever is without sin, cast the first stone. Yes to stoning means they. LL break Roman law and no to stoning means they. LL break Jewish law. Topic: <laughs> Death of Jesus. Topic: Jesus is sentenced to death and dies on a cross in all four gospels. The Jewish Encyclopedia explains that crucifixion was an illegal form of Jewish punishment and that Jesus did not receive a Jewish trial before death. <inaudible> Ananias and Sapphira In Acts 5 verses 1–11, Saint Peter spoke words of judgment upon Ananias and Sapphira for lying to God and testing the spirit after which each of them fell dead. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 16 forbids testing the Lord. John Chrysostom in homily 12 on Acts says that no one was forced to give anything to the apostles, that Ananias and Sapphira had committed sacrilege by keeping the money they had promised to give, that Peter did not correct Ananias because he would not have accepted correction, that Peter had questioned Sapphira to give her the chance to repent, and that Ananias and Sapphira were justly punished. Topic: Romans chapter 13 In Romans 13 verses 3–4, St. Paul says, But if you do evil, be afraid, for it does not bear the sword without purpose, it is the servant of God to inflict wrath on the evildoer. Pastor Stephen Cornell cites this verse as an instance of civil justice and support for the death penalty. Perspectives <inaudible> <inaudible> Walter Harrelson in The Ten Commandments and Human Rights says, T here can be no question of our Sixth Commandments having the initial meaning that human life is never, under any circumstances, to be taken by another human being or by the appointed authorities in Israel." Some Christian groups, such as the Southern Baptist Convention, cite Genesis 9 verses 5–6, Romans 13 verses 3–4, and, 
Leviticus chapter 20 verses 1 to 27 as the basis for permitting the death penalty. Some atheists believe the death penalty in the Bible is extremist and proof that God is evil. Some atheists believe Christians are hypocritical for not killing people that commit capital sins, such as gay people. Topic: See also. Topic: Religion and capital punishment. References External links Excerpts from Richard H. Hires the Death Penalty and Due Process in Biblical Law